to my space with your favorite science tutor, Ikoro Shahenet. And in today's video, we shall be looking at the topic, partial fractions. What are partial fractions? These are fractions that are formed when uh, a complex or divided uh, term is being split into two or more simpler uh, units. So we, we have various methods we consider when we solve partial fractions, one of which is on the board, we consider the denominator with a linear function. So the denominator determines the method that will be used in solving partial fractions. So we shall begin with an example where the method denominator with a linear function. And we have an example on the board. How do we solve such a problem when the denominators are having linear function. Linear function such as when the unknown is raised to power one, that is the value of x is raised to power one, we have a linear function. So we begin, we have one minus two x divided by x plus five into x plus three. Two linear functions. So we begin by saying a over x plus 5 plus b over x plus 3. I shall be using the cover up method, which is one of the shortcut methods that are used in solving such a problem based on linear function. So how do we go about it? We take the LCM. LCM for A and B, we have x plus 5, x plus 3. On this side, this takes this, we are left with this, so we have a into x plus 3 plus b into x plus 5. On the left hand side, these two terms are the same, so they simply cancel out, leaving us with 1 minus 2x. So we have 1 minus 2 x to be equal to a into x plus 3 plus b into x plus 5. Like I said before, a method known as the cover up method will be used in solving for the values of a and b. And how is that done? We start by saying put x to be equal to minus 3 so that we can terminate a and then find b. So when x is minus 3, we have 1 minus 2 into minus 3 to be equal to minus 2 in terminates a. So we are left with b into minus 3 plus 5. So on this side, we have 1 minus times minus is a plus. So we have plus 6, 2 times 3 is 6, giving us b minus 3 plus 5, that is 2, so we have 2b. So 2b is equal to 7. So that makes b to be equal to 7 over 2. We will be able to obtain the value for b. On the other note, to find a, we have to terminate b. So we say put x to be equal to minus 5. So that minus 5 plus 5 gives us 0. So that terminates b. So put x to be minus 5. So from here, we have 1 minus 2 into minus 5 to be equal to a into minus 5 plus 3. Minus 5 plus 3. And this side becomes 0. So b has no value. That 1 plus 2 times 5 is 10 is equal to minus 5 plus 2 is minus 2a. So which is 11, 1 plus 10 is 11. So minus 2a is equal to 11. We divide both sides by minus 2. So that makes a to be equal to minus 11 over 2. At the end of the day, we have been able to obtain values of a and b. That is to tell us that the complex 
expression 1 minus 2x all divided by x plus 5 and x plus 3 will be equal to a which is minus 11 over 2 all over x plus 5 plus b which we have as 7 over 2 7 over 2 all over x plus 3. In other words, we could also say this can be written in this form. This 2 simply comes down to that becomes minus 11 all over 2 into x plus 5 plus 7 all over 2 into x plus 3. Finally, we could also rearrange this expression by bringing the positive to this side, that is B first, and then A on the other side. So that could also be written in this form. We have it as 7 over 2 into x plus 3 minus 11 over 2 into x plus 5. So what we have simply done is we have resolved the complex expression into two smaller units. At the end of the day, we will be able to obtain the values of A and B and then substitute it back to the equation. So when this equation is expanded, we simply arrive at the complex expression. And that is with the method using denominator with a linear function. This is how it is solved. Many times we need to expand the expression to get uh, the, the values. I'm sure this video is clear. This is just one in a bit. There are other methods that could be used in solving partial fractions. But for the scope of this video, we are considering the denominator with a linear function. In subsequent videos, I shall be taking you through other methods. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next session.